my involvement at Dreamcatchers on the research team um, evolved out of a lot of the parent testimonials about the improvements um, that they had been seeing at home, such as speaking, um, improved behaviors, um, imaginary play or pretend play, and the feeling amongst everybody out here that this works. Um, and me being a researcher uh, and a professor in the School of Ed at William & Mary wanted to put some data behind that. So we set out um, to collect data specifically on children with autism. Hold it up, Claire. Can you hold it? Claire, hold it up. I told you you were a movie star. Here there you go. Thank you. What I have noticed is Sam is very intense and wound up all the time. And as soon as he comes out here, straps on a helmet, as soon as he gets on the horse, that sort of goes away, and he's very, very calm. Um, yeah, he's definitely locked up inside there, trying to figure out how to get him out of there. I'm hoping one day, all of a sudden, he'll say, he'll just throw up verbally on us. I've been waiting to talk to you for all these years, and here it comes. So. It was about August. She was playing at home, and we'd given her a number of stuffed animals, and she had some stuffed um, animal horses and she had put all the animals in a circle. And I realized what she was doing is she was putting the stuffed animals on top of the horses and giving them riding lessons. And started saying walk on and she would trot the horse around in a ring and then she'd take that animal off and put another one on. And I had tears in my eyes. I was just, I can't believe this is a child who'd never done any kind of role playing before, who had never really talked before much of anything. So I'm had dream catchers on the phone immediately just sobbing and they're sobbing on the other end saying you know I just can't believe this this is what Claire is doing Sam I remember the day that he spoke for the first time here on this property because he is considered a, a nonverbal student and I happened to have the privilege of standing near him when the volunteer handed him a ring and said Sam here's a ring and he looked at it and he said yellow and we had never heard him speak before we told his teacher and she had never heard him speak before and we were just amazed and so we went he said yeah he knew that was a yellow ring and he was so excited it was the environment being on the horse that he um, was able to verbally identify that ring and that's the degree that he was engaged in the lesson and that's exciting. The instructors here, they're not teaching necessarily, they're not running a social skills group out there on the horse. They are teaching riding skills. They're teaching a child how to direct a horse, learning how to woe, and walk on, etc. Yet we're seeing social benefits. Not only are we seeing Nice job. The improvement in the testimonials that we were hearing from parents and from instructors here, but these result, these improvements were translating to the classroom environment as well. So the benefits were generalizing across contexts. 